This is the director of Redbone Coonhound, Micheline Chevrier. And this is Kweku Otri, who is the associate director of Redbone Coonhound. This couple, Mike and Marissa, have the name of this dog breed said to them and it sort of throws their world into a tailspin. So I feel like in many ways the set allows us uh, a, a portal through which we can explore that tailspin. Yeah. And therefore I think it doesn't necessarily need to live in what we perceive as being reality. We just kept saying, what is the what is the movement of the play? What is the pull of the play? What is happening from the time that title, Redbone Coonhound, yeah. is mentioned in the play? And what is its impact on the characters? Um, this visit of the dog, this, this appearance of the dog. And so I think that that's what drove design and it drove the motion of it, the movement of it. I think the greatest challenge of this play is its combination of a variety of narratives and a variety of styles. And I think it is apt to describe the play as a series of micro plays, but I would think of it more as an opus of work, some mm -hmm. kind of a collection of plays mm -hmm. that all speak to the same themes. And so the ideas are transferred from one scene to another and characters, even though they are different, are all connected somehow. When I think of the play, I almost think of a waking dream in a sense, where in your waking life, you'll see something and then it will pop into your dream in a way that's unexpected or um, sort of anachronistic or whatever the case may be. So I think that there's a definite link from scene to scene. Of course, the style shifts. But I think essentially what it is, is that we get information from scene to scene that appears in different and unexpected ways throughout the play, which is what links one thing to the next. In terms of the intersectionality of the cast and the creative team, you're looking at it, right? The, what I love about this partnership and, and how fruitful it's been and why it works is the fact that we same, same, but different. Like we come from obviously different places, different backgrounds, all of these sorts of things, but the conversation, like the collision of the two of us has yielded such fascinating conversations. And I feel like that's exactly what the play is about. How do we coexist? I have to say that from the very beginning, it was obvious that with Amy Lee and Omari, an mm -hmm. interracial couple writing this play about an interracial couple, it was essential that all across the board, there be this constant reflection of that partnership. So that that dialogue, as you say, that collision mm -hmm. is so rich because, mm -hmm. and I mean, I know you're like me in so many ways. Well, weird, like, isn't it amazing? <laughs> but anyway, it's a, but I love, I love when we don't agree. Yeah. I love mm -hmm. because we have, and we feel very strongly <laughs> about it, and we can, we can wrestle those ideas. And what that gives is such a rich, profound, deep um, exploration mm -hmm. of the work. Redbone Coonhound begins previews on February 7th. Tickets are available now at tarragontheatre.com. Come. 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 <laughs> Come. <laughs>